for that financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment, education purposes only. Anything I say, my opinion. You don't make any financial decision between anything I say in this video. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube album and stuff. You get to be able to put them out. See, you don't think I see man a lot in that data, but like I tell you every day, the day they release us is false. Man, it gets a false and I had a to make bad traders. Listen, I believe. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I've only been like really into the market over the last 30 months. Ever since the buy button fiasco, when I started really doing investigation, really looking into the market, looking how it's run. Before that, you know, I would just buy a stock, you know, listen to the nonsense from Seeking Alpha and Market Watch, thing that they were giving us, you know, pertinent information. But, you know, based on my experience with them over the last 30 months, I know the information they give, give to us is biased. It has nothing to do with the ebb and flow of the market. It only has to do with a narrative that, that their bosses, that their bosses want them to push out to retail, push out to the public. But the reason I'm bringing that up is this. I believe the last two days, the last three days, the market has been highly manipulated, okay? It's been high, highly man manipulated and pushed up. The entire market been pushed up to give these these bad actors the opportunity to continue shorting AMC, GME, and MULN. But like everything else that they're doing, their liquidity is drying up. That's why today, Friday, they are running out of money and the market is turning back red on them, okay? The entire United States market, in my opinion, is totally corrupt. It is run by the one percenters, they kind of do what they want in the market. And over the last two or three days, I believe they have been artificially yes. inflating the yeah, market the so that they can keep shorting the mem stocks. But the bottom line is this, the liquidity is drying up. The banks are crashing. And like I told you in a previous video, I believe a hedge fund is gonna go down before the end of June or another bank. And when it does, they should be forced to pull out their shorts and we should start seeing our attendees. Anyway, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you think they've been artificially inflating the, the stock market in order to keep their short positions in place? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.